the urgency gets less and finally you forget about it if you're like me just like going to another room to get something and when you get there you don't remember what you went there for or is that just me the, the, the same thing will happen when we are in a service like this and all of a sudden the Holy Spirit begins churning in us whatever he's speaking to us about we need to go do and not fiddle around and not put it off and not make excuses and not say well when I blah, 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 whatever we can make a million excuses just like that Jonah did as a matter of fact he packed his knapsack went and bought a ticket and got on a ship and left I can get away from God if I can just get away from here sometimes I wonder if that's why people leave churches and churches die if I can just get away from here I won't have to serve the Lord I don't know that may be a totally different situation Peg and their situation but I think it can happen and I think I think it can happen sheep beget sheep we see it in Jonah one sheep one guy went and preached the word and then the city started talking about it and it went all through the city if you read that chapter you'll see how one person told another person and another person told another person and another person uh, uh, Jonah couldn't have talked to 60,000 people or ever how many thousand people it was how many did you hear that? Jonah couldn't have talked to all those people. I've heard people say, oh, well, the Lord made his voice big. Maybe the Lord still did make his voice big. But Jonah didn't talk to all those people. The scripture says they talked to each other. The king heard about it from somebody, and this guy heard about it from somebody. Brothers and sisters, that's y'all. Well, I've been in Arkansas all week, haven't I? Brothers and sisters, that's you. That's you. Go talk about Jesus. Go talk about your church. When I was on sabbatical, I uh, got to the Abbey, and the secretary of the Abbey was a gal from the Church of the Nazarene. From the moment I got there, she started in on me. I love my church. I love my church. You ought to see what we're doing at our church. We got the craziest pastor I've ever had. I just love it. I want you to come to church with me. Okay, I, I, I'll see how my schedule goes. I got a big schedule. I'm on sabbatical. Come on, lady. Oh, no. That day after she got done doing whatever she did, she came down to my room. Now, I, you're going to be at church tomorrow, aren't you? You'll be here on Sunday. I'll be waiting for you. Uh, here's my phone number. Now, I'll be in the parking lot. I'll be waiting for you. And I thought, I want to be that excited about what's going on in my place. I mean, she was excited. And I went, and it was a great church. And I thought, well, this is a great church, but I don't think our church is just as good as this one. <laughs> of course, I can't help that. It's us. It's you. It's me. It's all of us. Inviting, speaking, telling, grabbing on. And I think that's where Jonah can take us. All of a sudden, over 100,000 people are talking about God, seeking God. And today, you and I have at some point somewhere heard the good news of Jesus Christ. And we are his forgiven children. That's worthy of telling everybody you meet this week. I was lost, but now I'm found. I was blind, but now I see. And someone somewhere will hear that good news from us. And when we're obedient to him, they too may find Jesus and begin to tell somebody else about the Christ that forgives and redeems and restores. No matter who we are, no matter what our career is, no matter what our personality is or is not, no matter what's going on in our lives, 
We have been forgiven and we have good news to share. Jesus called all Christians and to the same call that God called Jonah to. Go and tell. I think, I think we're supposed to be obedient to that all the time, everywhere we go. It was a long way from the belly of the big fish to Nineveh. And as Jonah needed sustenance, I believe we do too. We receive grace when we worship together, when we pray, when we share scripture, when we fellowship. And we receive grace when we receive the sacraments. When we gather at the table of the Lord, we are fed. We are made ready to be obedient. So this morning, don't open your stuff yet, but go ahead and get your little cup of juice and your wafer. The Lord himself ordained this holy sacrament. He commanded his disciples to partake of the bread and wine, emblems of his broken body and shed blood. The feast is for his disciples. Let all those who have with true repentance forsaken their sins and believed in Christ unto salvation draw near and take these emblems, this sustenance, and by faith partake of the life of Jesus Christ to our soul's absolute obedience. Everyone in attendance is invited to participate. May the Spirit of God work in us. Let all who are seeking to know more about Jesus partake and receive with an asking heart. Let us remember that communion, the Lord's Supper, is the memorial of the sacrifice and death of our Lord. It bestows grace for obedience and gives us hope for the future. I'd like to have whatever of the worship team is left to join me. And as we hold these elements in our hand, we're going to sing a song of response, a prayerful response to the Lord.
and then the foil top. We are reminded in the, in the same night, our Lord was betrayed. He took bread and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples. And he said, this is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Take, eat, be thankful, and obedient. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, which is poured out for you. Do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me. Take and drink, be thankful and obedient. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come to you at this time and we thank you for your incredible forgiveness, your calling, your direction. And Lord, may the, through the power and by the power of the Holy Spirit that actually resides in us, may we find ourselves completely obedient in every way to anything and everything that you tell us, say to us, indicate. However you want to do it, Lord, we bow before you today and we will be obedient. Help us now, Jesus Christ, to share your incredible love. And we ask it in his precious name. Amen. Amen. Would you stand for the benediction? <laughs> Forgiven and obedient children of God, because that's who we are. Go into the world with the good news of the love of Jesus Christ. You are blessed and dismissed. <laughs>